Good morning, George Peabody School. Welcome back from spring break. I hope you had a wonderful week off and week away from Zoom and enjoyed that time off from Zoom. I know I did. So I wanted to talk to you today about a word that's been on my mind. It's probably a word you've heard of. Maybe you've talked about it with your families. Maybe you've learned a little bit about it in school. And it is this word. This word is injustice. Turn on the news or just listen to what is happening in the world and you will hear and see examples of injustice. It's a lack of fairness or justice happening. Um, an unfair or unequal situation where someone or a group of people don't have the same rights as others. Um, maybe a person or a group of people are treated poorly or even violently because of a quality about them. And that quality might be their gender or their religion or their race. And at George Peabody School, we've talked a lot about what it means to be um, an upstander when someone is treated unkindly or unfairly and how we can be an upstander, and which again means you stand up for someone with your words or your actions rather than standing by. So rather than being a bystander, someone allowing it to happen. And the same is true when we see an injustice happening in our world, whether it's at school or in our community or in the city that we live in or just in the larger world. And I've been thinking a lot about this because of the um, enormous number of um, situations that our Asian and Pacific Islander community members um, have been in lately with being the target, the targets of racism. And I wonder if you have heard about this, if you've talked about this with your family members, if you've talked about this in school, perhaps you yourself or your family is dealing with this, maybe worrying about this. I know I've talked with some friends who are worrying about this for their own families, especially the elders in their families, um, parents and grandparents. And um, so I've been thinking about this particular injustice that is going on in our world right now. Um, we've seen this before. We've This is nothing new. Um, Asian and Pacific Islander folks have been the targets of racism in the past. Um, but this is new because it's related to ignorance surrounding the coronavirus and people thinking that um, Asian and Pacific Islander people are the cause of it, which we know is not true. So how do we stand up for our Asian and Pacific Islander community members, friends, and family members? How do we, um, as a white person, I am constantly having to educate myself and learning more every day about how to be an ally, how to be an upstander, and um, how to use my voice for change and for good. Um, sometimes it means speaking up. Sometimes it means being quiet and just listening. But sometimes it does mean knowing when to say something. So I wanted to read this book to you today. It's called Say Something by Peter Reynolds. And maybe through the pages of this book, um, you and I can learn some ways that we can stand up to injustice. Should we read it? All right, here we go. Say Something by Peter Hamilton Reynolds. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something. 
by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop! If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. Painted meadow splashed with rainbows. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. <gasps> Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible. That really hurt. I'm really sorry. I like how he's putting his hand on his heart when he's saying that. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say. I hope I believe, join us, I wish, together we can, I'm ready to change the world, I imagine. So when you're ready, say something. What do you have to say? I hope you find a way to say it. And I hope you have a wonderful week. I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye, everyone.